so today I wanted to give you three cloth diaper tips for stopping leaks. We use a combination of buttons, covers with buttons, and best bottom and homemade snap-in inserts, just in case you're wondering. Making sure you have leaks covered is a big, big deal with cloth diapering because it can kind of set people off. If you start cloth diapering and things just start going wrong, you keep getting leaks, it's just not working like disposables, you might want to quit. You might want to give up on the whole thing. And you just invested a bunch of money in these cloth diapers, so you don't want to abandon it completely. So learning about different ways to prevent leaks can really save your cloth diaper relationship. These are the three tips that we have learned along the way. We've been cloth diapering Calvin for about seven months now, and my mom has actually been using cloth over at her house two days a week that she watches Calvin for probably two months or so now. Tip number one is to make sure that the leg gussets are in the creases of the thigh and the crotch mm. area. You don't want them to be too far down the leg because any movement that baby is making will kind of adjust the diaper and you could get a leak if it like moves down the leg a little too far. So you want it to fit kind of like underwear. Your underwear is going not like down your legs, but between your legs and your crotch. So it's like in that crease there. If you keep the gussets of the diaper in the crease, you won't have any leaks there. So the way that I make sure the diaper is fitting okay on my son is to actually take his legs and kind of like move them around. You know how you go to the doctor's office and they kind of move the baby's legs around to like check their hips and all their joints and everything? You just want to move them and look at every angle of the diaper and make sure that if you're moving, you're not just laying still, the diaper's still staying in place. Tip number two, you want to make sure the absorbent part is fully tucked into the waterproof part. So you don't want this to be like sitting on top of this. Even if the majority of the absorbent part is inside the cover, if it's still sitting on top of, if the cover is sitting on top of that absorbent part, it can still wick onto their pants or onto their shirt, their onesie, whatever. If any little bit of the insert is like hanging outside or touching the outside or just barely on top of the cover, you're going to get wicking onto the clothes. Tip number three, change the diaper every two hours. We are sticklers about changing every two hours. My mom is very good about changing every two hours. Sometimes we go like two and a half or three, like if it's nap time or something, but we're usually really like on the dot, always watching the clock. And anytime we try to go over the two and a half hour mark, something always goes wrong. <laughs> so cloth is just different from disposable diapers. It's not meant to hold a ton of pee. Cloth is just different from disposable diapers. It's not gonna hold as much pee. It's not made of magical chemical stuff that just absorbs everything. It can only hold so much. It's only a natural fiber. So making sure that you really stick to a schedule and make sure that you're always changing every two hours, it really super helps things. It's really not that big of a difference between disposable diapers. I thought that was going to be the hardest thing about switching to cloth was having to change all the time, but it's better for baby anyway. You should be changing him all the time. Just in case you're wondering, this is a buttons cover. I use all of their one size covers. I don't have any of the newborn ones or the like super ones, but they do have those available. This print here is called Fiesta. And it was one of their 2017 seasonal prints. So if you're watching this in the future, I'm really sorry that it's probably not available anymore, but if you're watching it currently, at least kind of close to when I film this and upload this, you should still be able to get your hands on this. If not on the Buttons site, I know that Sweet Bottoms Baby is a really good site for finding the diapers after they've already like kind of started dwindling away. So those are my quick three tips. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please let me know if there's any other videos you guys want to see down in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Bye.